Building bridges can be difficult. Let's go, we got it. Whether they're formed from gumdrops and toothpicks or between student minds and career fields. The success of the latter can have far-reaching effects on the United States. Like this. The problem, only 16% of American high school seniors are proficient in mathematics and interested in a career in science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM. Meanwhile, jobs in those fields continue to rapidly expand. Part of the solution, get students fired up about engineering. Right, take it off, take it off. The Air Force Institute of Technology, or AFIT, welcomed more than 200 local students to participate in a wide variety of demonstrations as part of National Engineers Week 2015. That's our main goal, is to get kids who might not be exposed to engineering to engineering and to know that this is absolutely an option for them. And forget stereotypes. Engineers are needed from every possible background. So what we really want to do is make the STEM fields more inclusive because if we're going to find innovative solutions to our next generation of problems, we need to have people that have different perspectives and different viewpoints. Julia Kidd is one such possible engineer. The junior hasn't decided whether she'll pursue medicine or engineering yet, but she likes the clarity both fields provide. I just like having an exact answer for things, and um, math and science do that, I think. Okay. Whatever a student's reason may be, the AFIT faculty will do all they can to bridge the STEM gap during Engineers Week. <laughs> From Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm John Harrington.